my oh, goodness. Sure. Look at you. Nice shoes. Do you like those? <laughs> yeah. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Oh. How are you? I'm good. I brought you some cookies. Thank you. Where do you want to go? Sit down here. OK. Just that first look at Caitlin is so surreal. And I feel like it'll take me a second to get my bearings, but I've got to hand it to her. She looks great. So, enough of the small talk. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm really good. Just working. Well, I haven't heard from you in forever. I just felt thrown under the bridge. I felt like you were so excited to be going through this exciting time in your life, but I feel like I didn't want to communicate with you and be angry and be... And what be, would you be angry for? It doesn't even matter anymore what I think. Yes, it does. No. Because it affects the kids. One of the reasons I wanted to talk to you was because I don't want your feelings to be hurt, like when I heard that you weren't happy about not being included in Kylie's graduation. It wasn't me making that decision. It was you making that decision. I was so disappointed in everybody. For 15 years of my life, I carpooled kids every day. Some days I would spend three or four hours a day in the car, a slap in the face when you don't even get invited to their graduation. That's exactly how I felt with the Vanity Fair article, because I okay. it's spent not, it's 25 not years of my life and 18 hours a day and blah, blah, blah. Vanity Fair was months ago. We're talking about what happened just a few days ago. Listen, usually people that get a divorce don't do everything together. It wasn't malicious. It didn't intend to hurt anybody's feelings. But my feelings still weren't healed. And I thought, wow, this is the guy that when I, you know, I, I, I told myself I don't even want to cry, but I just, it just hurt my feelings. What did you say? I, I mistreated you. It was like, mistreated you? Yeah, we fought like the cats and dogs for the last couple years. But that's not what you say in a Vanity Fair article. And it just killed me because it wasn't true. And that, that's just, you know, it was like, what happened to just the life we had together? It's like, you don't, you just threw that away. I don't want anybody to feel bad. I thought I was very kind and nice to you. I didn't say anything that was bad. Yeah. <laughs> never texted me, never said anything. I never almost called. did. And then the Vanity Fair article, like, literally killed me. You're sensitive and amazing to all these new people in your life. You're just not so sensitive and amazing to this side of the family that you left behind. Oh, a phone call would have been great. I was hoping for the best, but nothing really has changed. I don't think I've ever met anyone as stubborn as Bruce Jenner until I met Caitlin. My feelings don't matter anymore. It's not oh, a part of... Don't play the martyr. No, I'm not. Don't they just don't. Don't play the martyr. You don't feel, oh, poor Chris, my feelings don't I, matter I'm anymore. I'm not, oh, poor That's Chris. That's BS. Like, I'm trying to yeah. be understanding of the way that you feel and the way that you've made this huge change in your life. And I try to understand you and be accepting. But you just are more stubborn and won't try to see my point of view in that, you know, that how, why I, that was hurtful. I totally disagree with that. Some days are just hard. And I know you say you haven't gone anywhere and you're still the same person, but sometimes they just miss having Bruce around. We all do. <clears throat> how do we move forward from this point? You know, obviously, it's really important for the kids to have you as a big part of their life. We just have to get used to our new normal. I just want to get to a place where it's comfortable 
for us to, to share celebrations together. I think that it might take some time for Caitlin and I to see eye to eye and understand each other's feelings, but I think that this is a really good first step in the right direction, just to a better relationship for the sake of the kids. <laughs> oh my God, you wanna take a selfie? Come on. Where's the best light? Right here. Hey, there we go. Now, what are you gonna do with this selfie? No. <laughs> okay. You got lipstick all over your cheek. It's all right. <laughs>